sick and tired. But my family, they don't know how to leave me alone. They need to get a life and a hobby or something. Damn. Oh, bother Travion. That's what it is. I done seen the best of the best. Cause ain't none of them at all. Like you. I'm seen with a girl. This Them bitches can be many things, but they ain't like me. Ow! I am, you know, somewhat in a pickle. Um, because I sit and I question to myself the why. I feel that everything I turn to, there's some type of adversity, right? There's adversity being fake. There's adversity being real. There's adversity doing nothing. There's adversity when doing something. And the sad part about it is, don't none of this matter. Harriet Tubman is probably gonna be forgotten at some point. Everybody from ancient Kemet and Egypt are gonna get, be forgotten at some point. How many civilizations have been wiped off of the map? And how many people have made all sorts of accomplishments just to get them taken by somebody else? Or how many people have lived and done nothing and have been completely uneventful, unmemorable, frivolous? I look at life and everything I want to do requires work. I remember being told by my third grade teacher she said to me, Travion, you're so talented, but you do nothing with it. You never put forth any effort. You always do the bare minimum. You always do just enough to get by. And those words have rung and they finally stopped ringing in my ear um, because I understand the why. I sit and I look at life and I think to myself, what am I doing and where am I going? Because quite frankly, none of this means anything to me. And like my life means something to me. Artistry means something to me. Content creating means something to me. Fashion means something to me. Beauty means something to me. Adv uh, activism means something. It's many things that matter, but they don't matter enough for me to dedicate my life, right? I think there are levels of awareness. You have some people who are so unaware of life, right? That they tribute their entire livelihood to the club, to getting drunk, to smoking, to weed, to Facebook drama, to being popular or being best dressed or having a nice home or being a socialite. Then you have those individuals who commit themselves to some form of artistry or some higher learning education, right? I never cared about the Facebook drama or the liquor, the weed, the partying, the clothes, the fashions, being best dressed or being liked because I understood that all of that was frivolous. And I think that I am too aware or maybe even wise for my own good because I see the folly in everything. I could dedicate myself to activism, but sometimes when I get on live and I talk about stuff, I feel very empty because I know that any and everything I am saying, somebody else already has. So even though my voice is impactful and important, and I'm pretty sure it blesses others as it blesses me, it's already been done because there's nothing new under the sun. So in my core feels well what's i i do it because i like to do it and that's not that's my, that's my norm but at the same time there's also this feeling of okay for example now if you've been a, now many people just kind of now meeting me but i've been on the internet for a very very long time and just talking about tiktok i've weathered and went through so many cycles on tiktok right so there was a particular time which more than likely will, will return again where i was on live and i was breaking down religious bypassing spiritual bypassing i was talking about christianity i was talking about um girl they done live restrict they done restricted my live girl see when you real see my heart starts beating triple time with thoughts of loving you on my mind can't figure out just what you do. It's the thought of loving you. I get 
it so weak. You are officially watching The Lion Sons Den. So just go ahead and sit back and relax. Right? So there was a particular era um, where on TikTok I would go live and y'all, I was getting banned. Well, suspended every live every time I, I would get my live back suspended again suspended again suspended again sp suspended again i literally had a gaggle of trolls follow me from each and every live that i would do to just report my page and to just harass me the thing is i know that i have talent i know that i have a voice i know that i can do so much but the bottom question always becomes why what's the point because i think that doing it is just not enough and maybe i wouldn't care about doing things in life if there was an easy smooth transition but there isn't right anything that you do in life there is so much nuance and if not that pushback but in order to get freedom you have to sacrifice so much of said freedom to do things you don't want to do just to get what you want right and although we may believe life is this experience where we get to do whatever we want to do however we want to do it that's not true because in order for me to be successful somebody has to deem me worthy of success you don't believe me as a content creator yes i make content but it is a two-person relationship. If don't nobody watch them videos, subscribe, like. If companies don't see deem me as worthy, if somebody don't reach off in their pocket and send a coin, well, that's the end of that dream. Same thing with businesses. If people don't shop at McDonald's, guess what's going to happen at McDonald's? They're going to go out of business. So while we may think, oh yeah, well, I do whatever I want. It's all about me. Mm, yeah, it is. But it's also about your ability to be likable to the public, which means that to some degree, you must give up your autonomy to them. I don't want to work. I don't. I don't. I don't want to work. I don't want to struggle. I don't want to hustle. I don't want to grind. I don't want to do none of that. I don't. I'm tired because every time I get one thing situated, everybody, be like, oh, well, you know, you got to do this and, you know, you got to do that. And, you know, you got to pivot over here and you got to situate. It's like, damn. By the time I can get one thing together, it's something totally. Oh. So, yeah, I be like, you know what? I really don't want to do this. This thing called life. I'm tired of this shit. This should look ghetto. Because. What's my fuel? What is my reason? What is my why? What is the thing that gives my life purpose gradient, right? Because I could say, hmm, well, the purpose of my life is to make music, okay? But I think, and, I, and this is where I say, I think I'm too wise for my own good. You know how many people have made music and been successful and completing total, total failures at it? Everybody's made music before. So why does me making music make me like what what does that mean? Okay, activism. We got so many activists. Anything that I can say or do, somebody in the 90s done did it. Somebody in the 80s done did it. Somebody in the 70s done did it. Somebody in the 60s done did it. Because everything is recycled. There is nothing new under the sun. So I'm thinking in my mind. Why would I want to live an experience where people are attacking me and ridiculing me all day for saying truth that has already been said 10,000 10, times over? You know how many Harriet Tubman's there's been before there was the Harriet Tubman me and you know today? Do you know how many times we have had to emancipate ourselves out of shackles? What about my life? is so special what about this experience is so important and because there has not been an answer to this question it really just leaves me with a certain level of despondency because i think to myself damn you mean to tell me i'm going through childhood trauma or i'm healing myself crying somewhere in therapy or having to you know self-therapize myself 
having to be my own therapist, having to get it out the mud for what? What am I going through all of this struggle and pleasure and fun? What am I going through all this for? Like, what is this? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about it enough to say, well, I, I, I'm just doing it. I don't care about life that much to just say, oh, I'm just here living life. It doesn't, imp it doesn't, it really don't mean that much to me because what holds meaning? I don't got apartments, lived in them. They were fabulous. And I felt like, hmm, okay. I don't had nice clothes. I don't had cute moments, but it's like, what, what is this? Like, where am I going? I, I need more. I need more. Because if we talk about purpose, oh, I got plenty of purposes. Oh, bitch, I, bitch, pick a purpose. Baby, I got so many purposes, baby, please. I'm sitting on so much talent. I'm sitting on so much gold. Baby, I could do anything, any kind of way you want me to do it, baby. We, 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 we could chop this up, splice this up, dice this up, roll this out. Baby, it's a lot. But for what? Because if you ask me, I feel like I'm in hell. And sometimes I sit and I question, is this real? Am I really real? Am I really talking to people? Is it really people that's hearing me right now? Is this phone real? Is this light real? Are these clothes real? Is this car real? Is any of this real? Or is this all a figment in my mind? And if it is, how do I know that reality is reality? How do I know what is real from what is fake? This is one of the reasons why I don't be having no motivation. Baby, that's exactly what I'm talking about right now. I got discipline. I'm very disciplined. I can do anything that I put my mind to. But the question is always, what's the point of me putting my mind to something that doesn't matter? Because in order for me to put my mind to this thing called life, I got to grind. I got to hustle. I got to sacrifice. I got to shed blood, sweat, and tears. For what? You mean to tell me I'm going to be the biggest thing to ever exist and then one day I'm going to pass away and everybody going to forget about me? I've, I've wasted so much time having to undo what was done to me when I didn't even have the choice or brain power to know right from wrong. I don't spend so much of my childhood wasted. So much of my adolescence wasted. So much of my teen years wasted. And I be thinking to myself, damn, all of that time just to understand things that feel so elementary. Do you know how sad it is that we be having to go in the world and tell people, oh, hey, just be yourself. Do you know how sad it is that we be having to do so much deep therapy to get people to return to normalcy, which is them being themselves, speaking the way they want to, being the way they want to, and don't even get me started on social constructs, the social construct of beauty. Because see, it's easy when you fit the standard, but what happens when you don't? What happens when you're not the world's definition of beauty, of smart? What happens when you get ostracized from the group? Now what? You went through being shunned from your family because you was you because you were you, because you thought for yourself, because you were living in your truth. And what reward do you get from being in your truth? Getting pushed out of the group. And is it enough to say, well, yeah, I got pushed out, but at least I was being myself. But, but what's the return? I've been asking myself, because you know, oh God, if you only knew how many times, how many days I have prayed to get off this rock. And it ain't because I'm suicidal and I hate life and I think life is nasty and evil and wicked. No, I just don't want to be here. I feel like this is a waste of my time. Girl, do you know how tired I am? of doing things that I don't want to do, but have no choice in doing so. And then the month, I, and I, and, ooh, ooh, oh, oh, girl, I'm finna, ooh, I'm, ooh, I'm, ooh, I, 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 I gotta put on a song, cause I'm finna lose it. I'm about to lose it right now. Come on, put your hands in. I gotta do this. Can you move your feet? Come on. I wanna let you know that it's not all. Sometimes you gotta smile. I gotta give a prophetic word. Because see, sometimes there are gonna be some experiences that come up and that come out to take us out. Sometimes it's gonna be some things that come through and that sweep us up, right?
You ever been through a valley? See, there's, see, there's, see, you got to understand what a valley is. See, a valley is a channel stretched between two mountains. Do you know what it's like when you on the mountain peak? 